So today guys, I bring you the latest news in the world of Borderlands 3, paired with news that I missed from a couple of days back. The latest news, increased loot drops, new cosmetics and more. News I missed from a few days back, Mayhem 4, increased vault space, new vault hunter buffs, and so much more. How's it going guys? My name's DBJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of the game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so I will first cover the latest, why not? So last night, Gearbox increased loot drops for Captain Haunt. Via a tweet they dropped last night, they said, we just released a hotfix for Borderlands 3 Bloody Harvest. Captain Haunt has learned how to project. His VO volume has been adjusted and increased loot drops for Captain Haunt. This obviously means upon killing Captain Haunt, you have an increased chance in getting those Bloody Harvest legendaries. They are the Fearmonger Shotgun, the Scream and Terror Shield, the Gas Cool Grenade, which I truly recommend you getting, and the Stalker Sniper. There might be more I haven't seen also. Now these legendaries also drop from loot ghosts, but considering Haunt has been buffed loot wise, I would recommend getting to this guy every time you get 25 hectoplasms. I mean I uploaded a great loot ghost farming spot yesterday. Using this spot you'll see many loot ghosts which also drop these legendaries. But you also see every other kind of ghost, meaning you'll get those 25 hectoplasms before you know it. So as soon as you do, you may as well head to Morris upon Sanctuary, then head back to Heck Hole to kill Haunt again to make your farm more efficient. Now the ghost farm you will find links within the video description if you do want to check it out. So yeah guys, Haunt has been buffed, great news. So let's move on to new cosmetics coming very soon. These were tweeted out last night and I do believe are available to certain streamers but for most of us we're getting them very very soon indeed. We see a skin for Flak and well it does indeed look absolutely amazing I'm sure you will agree. Now when these will arrive like I said I ain't too sure but as soon as any more information drops I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now to quickly cover news which dropped a few days back. These include buffs to Vault Hunters, general fixes, bank space and more. So let's talk about the bank. And this is what they state, expanding the bank has been the most consistently requested feature by the community. We've heard you loud and clear and the groundwork for expanding the bank has already started. The first of several planned expansions will coincide with the release of Takedown at Maliwan's black site. Expect a significant bank expansion that will more than double the existing space. Additional expansions to the bank will continue to be rolled out over future releases. So that's absolutely amazing people. Double that bank space, so 100 spaces, that's pretty cool. Dedicate loot pools for bosses. Several of you stated a desire to find gear more easily in the game. To do that, we are updating the loot pools to ensure that the more specific gear drops from bosses. That means you'll be able to go to a specific boss to get a specific gear you are looking for. We're working out which bosses get which gear right now and expect this to be ready as part of the November patch as well. Character buffs. In the late stages of the game when Mayhem Mold is active, we've found that player companions, Mold's Iron Bear, Flax Pets and Zane's Digiclone and Sentinel are reportedly not performing as well as we expected. To address this, we are looking at how to adjust damage according to the relevant skills and gear. The goal here is to make sure we have as many viable character builds as possible. Okay, additional Mayhem levels and Mayhem 2. Mayhem Mode has been a fantastic addition to the Borderlands world. After receiving some great community feedback, we've been hard at work on a significant revamp that will introduce a host of improvements over several upcoming updates. The first update will be released as part of the takedown at Maliwan's black site and includes the first new Mayhem Mode, Mayhem 4. Expect a significant challenge when it debuts, with tougher enemies that reward players with highly synergized character builds. Epic. A new batch of legendary gear will also drop while in Mayhem 4 to reward those players who are truly up to the challenge. So new legendaries as well people, incredible. Longer term we plan to overhaul Mayhem mode with more UI support, new Mayhem modifiers that change gameplay more dramatically, Mayhem playlists, new rewards and additional levels of Mayhem to work through. We're excited about Mayhem 2.0 and we'll talk more about it when we get a little closer to its release. So that's epic guys, Mayhem 4, new rewards, new legendaries, amazing. 
vending machines. Marcus heard the outcry for more vending machines, so we're airdropping in some more across multiple maps. Expect new ammo and health vending machines outside of a few boss arenas and a few in some of the bigger environments. Below are the locations where the new vending machines will be appearing. Okay, so skippable cutscenes. I know this is a major thing for many, many people. We're currently investigating the best way to approach letting players skip cutscenes. This is much easier said than done. Under the hood, the game may activate critical events based on cinematics. In order to make sure mission progression isn't negatively impacted, we need to impact each cinematic and make sure those events still work correctly. We have a few ideas on how to tackle this problem and expect you have a solution soon. Target dummy. Need an easy way to test your gear? We're going to add a target dummy to the shooting range on Sanctuary 3. This is incredible people. We feel this is the best location since your bank is also on the ship. This way you can manage and test your builds on Sanctuary without having to travel anywhere else. You can expect to see this sometime in December, so that's absolutely amazing. The future. The list above is a high level look at what some of our teams are working on. Stay tuned as we continue to add more information and additions to this list. We here at Gearbox are excited about where Borderlands 3 is heading and we look forward to showing you all the content that's still to come. So yeah guys, some great new features coming. Mayhem 4 I am definitely looking forward to. Dedicated loot drops will be awesome as well. New legendaries, new loot, epic. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.